Erosion and deposition. A trip to the beach is fun. One of the best parts is playing in the sand. And there is so much sand. Where did it all come from? Was it made right there or did it come from some other place? Much of the sand on the beach came from mountains. Erosion moved the sand from the mountains to the beach. Erosion is the taking away of weathered rock. After rocks have weathered into small pieces, they can be carried away by gravity, water, or wind. Most of the sand shown here was carried to the beach by water flowing in rivers and streams. As long as water keeps flowing, the bits of sand keep moving downstream. When the river enters the ocean, the water slows down. The sand settles to the bottom of the ocean. The settling of sediments is called deposition. Deposits of sand form beaches all over the world. Here is a picture of the beach. Erosion. The beach sand might start on high mountain cliffs. Sometimes big chunks of rock fall off the sides of mountains. Gravity pulls rocks downhill. Other times landslides move rocks and soil downhill. Rainwater moving over the ground erodes the broken rocks. Water transports rocks into creeks. Water flowing in creeks transports broken rocks downstream. This process is called erosion. This is a picture of cliffs high in the mountains where rocks sometimes start off and they fall from the top of the mountain down to the bottom. Here we have a picture of weathered rocks in mountain creeks. So sometimes the rocks fall into the creeks. Strong river currents move rocks downstream. Creeks flow into rivers. Rivers have strong currents. Rivers can carry many sizes of rocks. The rocks bang together and rub on the riverbed. The rocks break into smaller and smaller pieces. The smaller pieces are pebbles, gravel, sand, and silt. Erosion continues. The farther the rocks move in the river, the smaller they get. They also get smoother and rounder as they tumble along. Here is a picture of smooth round pebbles along a river. Deposition. When the water flowing in a river slows down, the rocks are deposited as sediments. Large rocks are the first to settle to the bottom. Powerful floodwaters move rocks of all sizes, even large boulders. Where a river flows into a lake, a bay, or the ocean, the water slows down. Sand is deposited near the mouth of the river. The sand can form sandbars, deltas, and beaches. Farther out are deposits of silt and clay. In this picture, it shows a large and small sediments deposited after a flood. Can you see deposits of sand and silt where the river enters the lake? This is known as a delta. In this picture, can you see meanders in the river? A meander is these little paths where the river meanders through the plain. Other kinds of erosion and deposition. Wind blows sand and smaller pieces of rock from one place to another. Sometimes the wind blows hard enough to carry a lot of sand and dust. Wind can erode valuable farmland. When the wind dies down, 
Sand and dust are deposited far from their starting places. This is how sand dunes form. Death Valley in California and Great Sand Dunes in Colorado are two places where large sand dunes formed. In this picture, you see strong winds move earth materials from one place to another. In this picture, you see the sand dunes in Death Valley National Park, California. And below, you see the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. This is a picture of a U-shaped valley eroded by glaciers. Glaciers are frozen rivers. Rocks can be frozen in glaciers high in mountain canyons. Glaciers flow slowly through canyons. The frozen rocks scrape the floor and sides of the canyon. Glaciers weather and erode V-shaped canyons into U-shaped valleys. Thousands of years ago in the Western United States, glaciers scraped down mountain valleys. They crushed and ground up rock beneath them. At the same time, glaciers covered much of the Midwest. These sheets of ice were over 1.5 kilometers thick. They changed much of the landscape by eroding the surface and depositing the rock materials in new places. What happens when sand finally makes it to the ocean? Is that the end of the erosion and deposition story? Not quite. Waves erode beaches and deposit sand in different places all the time. As waves crash on the beach, sand continues to weather. Sand gets finer and finer. Sand abrades the rocks and cliffs along the ocean shore. Erosion and deposition go on and on. This is a picture of sand deposited on a beach around a weathered rock. And that is the end of the article about erosion and deposition.